at some point I just realized, you know, well, where, where are we? There's slavery and there's mass extinctions and there's, uh, you know, ocean acidification and the climate crisis and all of this mess. I get heartbroken by these things and I get scared and worried, but I know that that's not uh, effective in terms of an, taking an, an attitude towards how to affect a positive change. So, so um, I remind myself constantly of the solutions that are actually available to us. Mengurangkan penggunaan plastik dan kalau boleh plastik itu direcyclekan saja. Saya masih ingat kecil-kecil bawa bawa pasar. Ini adalah satu teknik yang bagus. Saya juga menggalakkan tanam pokok. Ya, kalau tidak dapat tanam pokok besar, pokok kecil-kecil pun tak apa Lagi banyak kita tanam pokok, kita lebih banyak membantu menyerapkan semua uh, Carbon uh, dioxide kepada pokok-pokok ini Kemudian, uh, carpooling adalah satu teknik yang bagus sebenarnya Penggunaan basikal sekarang ini sudah mula Apa saja bahan buangan kalau boleh digunakan semula Adalah satu yang dapat menyelamatkan dunia daripada timbunan sampah dekat landfill Sekurang-kurang sokonglah projek-projek uh, pemanasan global ini uh, Dengan menyertai, bercerita, membaca, uh, mengetahui bersama-sama Menyebar-nyebarkan maklumat supaya ilmu itu disampaikan kepada lebih ramai orang Mengamalkan pemakanan vegan Ini salah satu kempen untuk kurangkan kesan pemanasan global Dan sebar-sebar kan uh, Cuba rasa makanan tu sedap Kita membantu menghijaukan bumi Kita boleh buat um, Edible garden kat belakang rumah Tanam sayur-sayuran, tanam herba Tanam ulang-ulang uh, Juga boleh membantu Sebenarnya Right now our planet is in peril It could be the end of life as we know it I choose life, I choose vegan I choose vegan My top ways for growing your planet, the first one is eat a plant-based diet. En France, on intègre l'enjeu changement climatique dans tous les secteurs et notamment dans le secteur agricole et donc en particulier dans l'élevage. I think moving towards a vegan diet is absolutely essential. When we look at the inputs that go into raising animals, whether it's land use or whether it's food, the, the, uh, corn and grains that are grown to feed those animals or water consumption, we cannot continue to live as dependent as we are on meat. As you see how the dieren houden uitsluitend om ze op te kunnen eten, hoe een soort van non-leven we ze geven totaal gespeend van alles wat voor, voor zo'n dier natuurlijk is, dan is dat alvast een reden om te zeggen dat moet zo niet. Bovendien is het eten van vlees, als het gaat om het energiegebruik, en het, het, in het algemeen het gebruik van de aarde, is ontzaggelijk veel duurder en slechter dan het eten van granen of vruchten enzovoort. This video is about us. Which direction will humankind take? I look at myself. I look at myself. What is my dream? What do I want? What do we want? When thinking is older, I would like him to have an opportunity to study and live in Australia. I think that having the opportunity to live in different countries makes you more tolerant, understanding, and open-minded about other people and their viewpoints. And I hope Ping Ping will have the same opportunity to experience this as I have. Subsidies. We're subsidizing the uh, eventual cost of all the environmental damage that they're doing. So um, I think there's little doubt that sometime in the next 50 years uh, there's going to have to be an extremely costly global effort to remedy the causes of climate change, probably water pollution, uh, water shortages, stuff like that, that are driven to a large extent by uh, animal farming. Sooner or later, that bill's going to come due. Basically, the people who are doing the damage are paying nothing for them. It's like running up a gigantic credit card bill and then handing it off to your kids to pay it. Maar vanuit de EU wordt heel veel subsidie gegeven voor, voor het maken van reclame. En dus wat ze eigenlijk promoten is weer meer vlees consumeren. 
Terwijl we net hebben gezien dat het slecht is voor het milieu, slecht voor de dieren en de mensen veel te veel vlees eten. Dus het is een absurd weggegooid geld. Ik denk dat de sensible solution is to tax these product, not just meat, but it, it will get a big price tag based on the environmental damage it does. If that were to happen, the prices would go up a lot. Uh, and I think that would have a huge effect on people's behavior. I think that strategically, the only way that you're going to really make a dent in animal farming uh, is by taking advantage of the fact that you can produce something that's nutritionally equivalent to the least expensive unprocessed meats for less than 4% of the cost of those meats just using plant uh, products, basically. Um, soybeans, other legumes, grains, and so forth. I think um, there would be a strong incentive for people to change their behavior. People's um, food purchasing uh, is very price sensitive. The world is talking about thousands of billions of dollars in technology funds to combat climate change. And countries are at odds over how much we should do to curb carbon emissions. But meat is the main cause of global warming. Veg is the fastest way to cool our planet. However, looking at the government alone to reduce livestock production is not enough because the food industries have a very strong influence. But we are the consumers. We have the power. When we show that we want plant-based food, they'll change to meet the market demand. You know, it's it's very easy to do. I, I I'm, I'm the same as anybody else, and and I make it happen. And I'm strong. I'm fit, and uh, and I go to work. The biggest thing that I that I would I would say, you know, as a message is 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 for people to come together. You know, we're all we're all brothers and sisters out here, and and to help one another, and and, and to care and to love one another. Help. Through my medical profession, through being a surgeon and through my involvement also with heart surgery, I have seen the consequences of a poor diet, mainly cholesterol containing a diet and that is mainly taken in through meat. So even my colleagues, many of them become vegetarians because they've seen their patients having suffered the consequences of the wrong diet. Er zijn veel meer mensen in ons soort welvarende staten die te dik zijn dan die te mager zijn. Er zijn veel meer mensen die ziek worden door obesitas, door te veel en te zwaar en te vet eten en te veel eiwitten eten dan mensen die door gebrek mager zijn. Dus is alle reden om dat eens flink onder de loep te nemen. I think they need whole grains. I need, think they need to exercise. They need to drink a lot of water. They need to look at wherever they can eat organic foods and locally produced foods as well. You can really become a healthier person, which is healthier in mind, spirit, and in body. Objectif, c'est de poursuivre la sensibilisation. So we need to act now, both at individual level, things that we can change in our lifestyle, and also at the level of government. Cut out the meat. Be veg, go green, so save the planet. Can we change? Okay. What is there to lose? Compared to what we stand to lose? Planet Earth is our only home. It could be the end of the world as we know it. Unless everyone does his part, we cannot move away from the crisis as one. Like it or not. Whether we choose to act or not. We are all personally contributing to how this world unfolds. Make the change today and preserve a future for ourselves and our children. In the 60s, I was a student protester protesting. We thought we could end a war, yeah, and and we really did something. And everyone, with the same purpose, they think the same belief that if enough people got together, a world of, of peace without war, 
is possible. Hello. Hi. They've had some pretty good Hi. veggie burgers, actually. And the way things are going, they keep on coming up with these great, you know, great substitutes. Yeah. You know, to try it anyway. And, uh, and maybe there will be a paradise once again on this earth. It's worth a try, huh? Right?